All right guys, so today I'm gonna show you how to decorate a baker's rack two different ways, so stay tuned. Hey guys, my name is Nikki and I wanna welcome you here to Carry Grace. Okay, so today before we get into doing some decorating, I need to tell you a few things. I'm gonna tell you three things. Number one is later in this video, you're gonna see that my hair is different and I'm wearing a different outfit. That is simply because when I filmed this video and went back to edit it, the first part of this video was entirely too long. It was super rambly and so I just decided that I needed to redo it. So you're welcome for that. Number two, I am going to be decorating some baker's racks, like I already mentioned. Now, I know a lot of you don't really think of a baker's rack as being something that you necessarily want in your house, but I'm gonna show you that there are some instances that they are very useful. We needed a place to store some things in our dining room and then also in our entryway, and I needed furniture that wasn't super heavy and didn't take up a lot of visual weight. So something wood wasn't gonna work because it was gonna look too heavy. So I needed something nice and open. Enter the baker's rack. Now the thing about it is I wanna tell you guys that I did purchase mine on Amazon, but I am not recommending these particular baker's racks. So this is kind of a little bit of a review before we get into it. I needed some that were very narrow and I couldn't find anything that I liked on Facebook Marketplace. They were all too wide. So I ended up getting something inexpensive on Amazon and they are made pretty inexpensively. They're kind of dinky. They are not gonna hold a lot of weight. The shelves are a little bit flimsy, so I kind of had to really like spread out the weight evenly and do some things to make these work for me. However, we're in a rental home and I know that these are pieces that we may not need in our next home. So for me, that was okay this time. So I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm not recommending these particular baker's racks. You can find some really good ones on Facebook Marketplace. There are a lot of them that are actually very nice quality, nice and heavy duty. And if you will, you know, keep your eye out for them, you can find them. The third thing that I wanna tell you is that at the end of this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some new products from the Passionate Penny Pincher. So you will see that at the end of this video. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna stop talking and we're gonna start decorating some baker's racks. All right, so real quick, I'm gonna show you some of the things that I want on this baker's rack. I've got some platters, serving bowls, chargers, a couple of my blue and white pieces. Then I've also got my false graph heritage stoneware. This belonged to my husband's grandmother. I've got a piece of milk glass that was my grandmother's and then my mother's. More platters, cake plate, this is just my dining room table centerpiece, so it's just gonna stay there. But it's not a lot of things, but it's things that, like I said, they are sentimental. They are things that we use when we host different things. And so we needed to find a place to put them.
All right, so I am super happy with how this turned out. You guys, it looks so good. All right, so a couple things that I did is I tried to keep my color palette pretty simple. I've got white, blue and white, a little bit of gold and silver. And then I tried to kind of keep things in threes or in triangles. So you can see the blue I've got in a triangle. If you do like that, that's a triangle. These pieces that are the same pattern, they're in a triangle. Then I've also got like another triangle right here, then another triangle right here. And then the gold, I needed those chargers in here because we do use them sometimes. And so instead of having all of them down there, I decided to bring one up here. It just kind of brought the gold up. Plus it really created this nice triangle. And then the family picture, that's just something I wanted in here. You guys don't be afraid to put pictures in your house. I know most people tell you in decorating not to do that, but do it. It's your house. Put pictures of the people that you love in your house. It is okay. Okay, so I'm not gonna do this one with you, but I wanted you to see how it turned out. This is our entryway. You can see we've got like a whole tree, a bench to sit, to put shoes on. And I needed a place to put some things. I was out of storage. I did not have a good place to put cookbooks. So my cookbooks are here. These are my binders. I got these in my Amazon store. These are great for all of my passionate penny pincher printables. And then I've got my other cookbooks. I've got my recipe 10 right here. I've got some family pictures up here. And then down here, this is kind of the working part of this. We needed a spot to just drop things when we come in. So a lot of times this is not empty. It will have a few pieces of mail or keys or sunglasses or whatever, but it's nice and contained and it's not on my kitchen counter. The other thing that I did is I got this file box. I'm gonna pull it out in just a minute. I found this at Target. And now when I'm sorting through mail, I pull this out and then I just put our stuff in there. I've got places for coupons and um, things that need to be filed, things that need to be paid, just all those different things. And I've just started keeping this stuff here instead of in our office because it just has simplified things. Then down here, I found these baskets. I had to, these are the things I didn't want to buy, but I had to because of the size of the shelves. None of the baskets I had already fit. I found these baskets at Target. They work really great there and they're just kind of for some random things. Like you can see right there, I've got some touch up paint down there. They're just random things that kind of land, need a spot till somebody can put them away. So if you need like a drop zone in your house, think outside the box. This is our entryway. This is right here and then you can see that's our kitchen. So it really works because when we come in the house, it's right here. All right guys, so I hope that gave you a little bit of inspiration. If you've got some areas in your home that have you feeling kind of stuck and they're not functioning exactly the way you need to function, sometimes you have to think outside of the box. For me, a baker's rack was definitely thinking outside of the box. I had to kind of get over my own self and decide, okay, spend this little bit of money to fix this problem so that these things don't bug you and bother you every single day. Okay, so if you've made it this far, I also want to share with you a couple of new products from the Passionate Penny Pincher. If you are a regular watcher of my channel, you know how much I enjoy this planner from the Passionate Penny Pincher. This is my home planner that I am using this year. It is great. And Laurie from the Passionate Penny Pincher has some new products and I wanna share them with you. Also, I'm gonna be hosting a giveaway for some of these things on my Instagram page, so make sure that you are following me there. All the details will be there. You do have to live in the continental US to be able to enter. I wanted to tell you guys that, and I'm sorry for all of you that watch me from other countries. I still appreciate you being here. Giveaways are just kinda of tricky. So, this is the planner that I have. I have another one of these 
and I believe it's blue. You'll have to check on my Instagram page, but I'm gonna give away one of these planners. It doesn't matter that you did not start this planner in January. This planner will still help you the rest of the year to stay on top of these things. I also wanted to show you this new product, which is a to-do checklist. This is like a nice like hardcover little thing and you open it up and it is checklist for each day. You have got a to-do list for the day. Let's see, at this one it says clean mirrors, dust light fixtures and fans, dust furniture, vacuum house. Then there are some blank places or blank spaces I should say. And then there is a list which is the same daily routine that is in the planner. So let me tell you who this is for. If you already have a planner, I know a lot of you actually have this planner. If you have this planner, you don't need this. The only reason you would want this also is if you want to tear out the list, maybe give it to your kids if they have some things on the list that you want them to do, or if maybe you wanted to tear out the list and take it with you because you're leaving to go to work or something like that. But what this is, is for those of you that have a different planner that you really enjoy, but you still like having a to-do list that has some things that you're not having to rewrite over and over. This is your morning routine. This has exercise, shower, start laundry, clean bathroom sinks, make beds, tidy main living space, prep make dinner, prep meals for the next day, wash put away dishes, clean kitchen counters, wipe down kitchen sink, set out kitchen towels, sweep, vacuum kitchen, fold laundry. Okay, it's not actually just a morning routine. It's a routine for the day. You can do some of it in the morning, some of it in the evening. And what this does is this gives you a list that you are not having to rewrite every single day. So this is gonna be a companion to whatever planner you already have. I have several of these. I'm gonna be giving these away on Instagram. I also wanna mention that I am an affiliate for the Passionate Penny Pincher. So if you use my link down below, I do get a portion of that. And for those of you that have used my affiliate link this year, I just wanna say thank you. Like, thank you, thank you, Thank you. I only am an affiliate for products that I really and truly believe in, and you guys, these products are great. All right, so the next product, and I can't remember exactly what this thing is called, but you saw on my um, drop zone that I had those fruit binders for all of my printed Passionate Penny Pincher menu plans and recipes. I had already purchased those before Laurie came out with this. This is a binder. You can see it's nice and tall, but it's an easel. So you open it up and it folds on itself. Let's see if I can do this. It folds on itself like this so that it can stand up and then you can see your recipes on your kitchen counter while you're cooking. So it has all of these plastic sleeves, it has dividers, and so whether you have her menu plans or other recipes that you just want to, you know, be able to see very easily, this is very nice. It has 30 sheets, which means that it will hold 60 recipes. So that's one front and back for each sheet. The dividers are appetizers, breakfast, lunch, sides, salads, freezer, grilling, slow cooker, holidays, and sweets. So again, these are just some new products that I haven't shared before and I wanted to share. I'm also going to be giving away one of these. So you guys make sure that you are checking my Instagram page. I think I said this week, but I think I said that wrong. This video is actually going up on a Friday. I'm having to change my schedule. We've had some things kind of come up and I'm just going to have to kind of try a different posting schedule. So I'm gonna try posting on Fridays and see how that does. So you're actually seeing this Friday. So the giveaway will be like next week, not at the end of this week because it's already Friday. So anyway, make sure that you are following me on Instagram so that you don't miss it. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you're new to my channel and not already subscribed, please consider subscribing down below and I will see you guys soon.